In this module, we explore how technology can support listening instruction. Professor Carol Chappelle will introduce us to the technology listening connection. In this lecture, Dr. Chappelle will begin by talking about the connection between technology and listening in the world today. Then, we'll meet our listening expert, Dr. Gary Oki. We'll ask him why listening is so important for students. We'll also ask him what teachers should know about listening, and we'll ask him for any advice that he has for teachers. Finally, we'll take a look at how technology can help in the teaching of listening to English language learners. Technology today provides access to many different ways for students to listen. And there are, of course, students all around the world who can live in an environment where English is not the main language. Yet, through the use of technology, they can listen in on what's going on in the English-speaking world and take advantage of all of the resources that are available on the Internet in English. Teachers can find many resources to help teach listening on the Internet, too and we'll take a look at a number of these resources in this module. Two examples of listening activities are found on the websites of the U.S. government. One is Voice of America, and the second is on the American English website of resources called Sing Out Loud. We'll start by taking a look at both of these resources. One great resource is found on the Voice of America website in the Learning English section. It contains news stories that appear in video format with audio and subtitles. The videos allow the students to listen to current news stories that bring them news from around the world. The example shown is about the Women's March that took place on January 21st in 2017. The march was a big protest that occurred in lots of different cities around the world. It provides great listening material for students because there are a lot of visual cues that the student can use to see what's going on. They can get meaning from both watching and from listening. In the picture, you can see that this particular march happened in Washington, D.C. You can see the Capitol building in the back. There are also signs that the students can look at. Even very beginner level students probably know the meaning of stand up. The videos also include the subtitles that can provide text that goes along with audio. The audio is spoken in very slow and clear English. So these resources are really ideal for bringing current and interesting materials into the classroom using English that is accessible for learners. A second example comes from the American English website. It consists of a series of songs that have been prepared for teaching English as a foreign language. They are popular songs in the U.S. that many children know. They are presented in a way that makes them accessible for English language teaching. The materials on this website include the actual songs in audio format, in addition to a lot of materials that teachers can use to teach more about the songs and the language of the songs. And there are also materials to get people talking about the songs. So there are lots and lots of resources available, and we'll take a look at them in more detail a little bit later. But these are just a few of the excellent resources that are available for teaching English listening today.